Hi friends, let's discuss the problem number 2 on static timing analysis related to the uniteness topic. So the problem here is how many positive unit arcs does the two input NOR gate have? So the chapter related to the uniteness I have already covered as a part of static timing analysis series. If you have not gone through that chapter, please first go through that chapter. I will provide the link in the description section of this problem. So now let's try to solve this problem. So whenever we are given a problem related to the uniqueness, the first thing which we need to do is write the truth table of the given gate. So here we have given two input NOR gate. So let's make a truth table of two input NOR gate. So let's assume that we have a two input NOR gate. And its inputs are A and B and output is C. So here we will have A and B input, output is C. And here we will write all four combinations. So this is the truth table of a two input NOR gate. Now to find the uniqueness of a given gate, we have drawn the truth, to, tr truth table of that particular gate, and now we are going to find the relationship between input and output. So as a background, there are three types of uniqueness: positive uniqueness, negative uniqueness, and ununit. So so the positive uniqueness is whenever there is a rising transition happens at input of a cell and which results in a rising transition at output as well. Or whenever there is a falling transition happens at inputs of a cell or a gate which results in falling transition at output of that cell. If these two combinations happen then that particular cell behavior is positive unit or that particular timing arc. So now let's assume first the rising case. So first case we are assuming rising transaction. So during the rising transactions let's assume that our input A first is 0 and input B rises from 0 to 1 ok so when input A is 0 and our input B rises from 0 to 1 what happens at the output output falls output basically goes from high to low ok so there is a rising transition as at input which results in a falling transition at output so this behavior of the particular arc is a negative unit. Okay, so the arc which is B to C is a negative unit. Now let's assume A is 1. So when A is 1 and B transitions from 0 to 1. So when A is 1 and B transition from 0 to 1, there is no transition happens at the output. That means this timing arc does not exhibit any uniqueness. Okay. Now let's assume the another case where we have B value fix and we will map a transition in the input A. So when B is 0 and A transitions from 0 to 1. So whenever B is 0 which is here and here and A transition from 0 to 1, C transition from 1 to 0. So in the input there is a rising transition but at the output corresponding that at output it is a falling transition. So this arc also exhibits a negative uniqueness. 
Now when B is 1 and A transitions from 0 to 1. So when B is 1 and A transition from 0 to 1, there is no transition happens at the output. Output is stuck at 0. So there is no unitedness. So during the rising transitions on the inputs, none of the timing arc RG beats or follow the rising transitions at output and hence there is no positive unit arc present during the rising transition. Now let's see the falling transition. Second case is falling transition. So again assume that we have in the first case we have A is 0 and B is falling from 1 to 0. So when A is 0 and B is going from 1 to 0, C goes from 0 to 1. In the output there is a rising transition happens. So this is again a negative unitness behavior. Now, if A is 1 and B transitions from 1 to 0. If A is 1 and B transition from 0 to 1, there is no transition happens at the output and hence there is no unitness for this particular timing arc. Now, let's assume B at a fixed value. So, let's first take the B value is 0 and A falls from 1 to 0. So, if B is 0 and A falls from 1 to 0, C basically rises from 0 to 1. So, it again shows the negative unitness behavior. Now, when B is 1 and A transitions from 1 to 0. If B is 1 and A transitions from 1 to 0, there is no change in the C. So, again, no unit. So, in the both cases, when we make a rising transition as in, at input side and when we make a falling transition at the input side, the output does not follow the same. That means, whenever there is rising transition at input, the output is either falling or there is no change. And when there is a falling transition happens at the input of a NOR gate cell, the output will either rise or there will not be any change. So, by this discussion we can say that a two input NOR gate, in a two input NOR gate, there are no positive unit arcs. And hence the answer is A is a zero. So, hope this is clear to you. If you have any doubts, please write down in the comment section.